Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to generate the script to drop the, all the databases in the from the instance. This scenario will be helpful when you are decommissioning the SQL Server. While decommissioning the SQL Server, we will take the backups and we will drop the databases. Sometimes we will get some that kind of scenarios. Okay, so here first of all, let's see. All uh, so I can queue the entire query. Let's the build how we can build the query so that we can use the same for other uh, issues as well. So first we will list all the databases. Uh, select star from sysdat databases. Okay. If you see here, uh, I'm selecting. So I'm having databases. So now what I will do here. So uh, to drop the uh, first before dropping the database, we need to take the database into single user mode. Why? Because we don't know either how many connections are there. If the uh, active connections will be there on the database, then you cannot drop the database. So for that reason, we need to take the database into single user mode. Okay. Now, uh, first we need to generate the single user mode uh, syntax after that it will we need to drop the database for drop statement we can use like alter database data uh, uh, drop database database name for uh, sing taking single user mode alter database database name set single user immediate rollback that I want okay so now uh, so I need to uh, put it in the single quotations alter database okay so now I'm removing the star, okay, not required for me. So now press, I'm, I'm concatenating, okay. So name. So now I got it, right? See, I am got it. But here, I am not having any space between all database, but database. Now, now what I'm doing, I'm giving some space. Okay, I'm inverting single quotation. Here I'm giving some space and I am concatenating. So in between, I will get some space. Okay, but I'm getting the system databases. So for that reason, um, I need to use where command where not in master inverted commas comma msdb tempdb model distribution. So what are the databases that you don't want to see by default system databases you cannot take that right so you need to avoid that so so what are the databases that you want to drop database you can filter using this okay now done temp db temp db model or i am i'm pacing all these in inverted commas so if you see here I need to pass the filter come where name not in okay so if you execute so I'm getting uh, so for uh, for better visibility I'm changing the result to text mode okay so I got that alter database database name some okay now I need to concatenate here set single user mode rollback immediately okay so I'm needing plus here so this is the command just paste it here select command execute yeah but uh, there is no gap right so I again you need to uh, inverted commas place and give some space in that that okay click execute so I got the data now I need to generate the alter database command within that after that for example here you are uh, so in that again you need the drop command I need to got alter database database name text uh, drop database drop database name called text so for that reason what we need to do here is so we need to break the statement here for the break statement we are having two characters so I am breaking here okay plus char 13 plus char 10 so again here you need to drop the adjustment so here plus symbol drop so 
inverted commas drop database comma database name plus name okay so again we the, we need to break that right so you again you copy the symbol and place here now see the syntax is getting created or not yeah see we got the statement so but there is no gap right again here you need to create some gap click execute sorry yeah see we got the date respective statements and everything alter database test and set a single user mode roll back immediately now you can copy this command and open new query and click execute yeah this was done now go select the instance click refresh see all databases got drop now you can go to the respective locations and you can delete that uh, mdf and ldf files okay so this is how you can drop the all the databases at once okay i am going to give this query in the description box so try to uh, build the qu uh, query uh, from your end uh, won't if not you can use this query i hope you may like this video thank you please do subscribe and comment your opinion that will boost to do uh, more videos for me thank you bye